If you've heard of a cash out refinance in real estate investing, but you're not totally sure how the numbers work when it comes down to it, stick around because in this video, we're gonna go over exactly how to model a refinance in Microsoft Excel for your real estate deal. For first dibs on all new real estate financial modeling and career training advice, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Now, if you're planning on doing any sort of a renovation to a real estate deal, it's likely that you're planning to add value to that deal. And with that, you've probably thought about doing a cash out refinance in order to recoup some of that equity that you've built in the deal but you might not know exactly how the cash flows work when you go to do that and how to actually model that in Microsoft Excel. Well, by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to do that in Excel, and we're gonna walk through exactly how to model a cash out refinance step by step. Now, if you're looking to learn real estate financial modeling and deal analysis, I've taught over 10,000 students real estate financial modeling so they can advance their careers and make more money, so you're definitely in the right place. So let's first talk about what a cash out refinance actually is. So a cash out refinance will likely occur when you've added value to a property and you're looking to take out a new bigger loan on the property based on a new bigger valuation. So for example, say you bought a property for a million dollars and you received 70% of that in loan proceeds or $700,000. One year later, you've added value to that property and it's now worth $1.25 million. The lender now gives you 70% of that value in loan proceeds when you go to refinance or $875,000. Now to pay off your existing loan balance, assuming you didn't pay anything down, which you probably did, you can pull out $175,000 of that cash after paying off your initial loan and use that money to go out and buy another deal. So that's the basic concept, but let's actually go into Excel and walk through an example of this step by step. So now we're in Excel and what I wanted to do was go through an actual example of what this is going to look like in practice and how we can calculate this. So what we have here is we have some acquisition metrics, some acquisition loan metrics, and then we have our refinance metrics as well. Now everything that is in blue text is going to be a manual input. So if we change our purchase price or our closing costs or renovation costs, we need to build out formulas that are going to essentially change as we change our manual inputs. So what I wanna do is calculate my loan proceeds, my equity invested, and then my loan proceeds for my refinance, the loan payoff for the acquisition loan, and then the total cash pulled out when we go to refinance. So let's start by taking a look at what information we have. So we have our purchase price of $5 million, closing costs of $5,000, renovation costs of $300,000, and we'll say our renovated value is 6.25 million. So we've added a significant amount of value like we've talked about earlier on in this video. And so we're going to want to refinance this with a permanent loan at this higher valuation. So let's start by calculating our acquisition loan proceeds. Now I'm assuming that this loan is going to be sized or the lender is going to decide how much in loan proceeds they're going to give the borrower based on a loan to cost ratio. So the loan to cost ratio essentially measures the total loan amount divided by the sum of all of the costs of the project. So what I wanna do here is take 80% of the sum of my purchase price, closing costs, and renovation costs. So I'm gonna set this up by using a formula. So I'll take the sum of my purchase price, my closing costs, and my renovation costs, and I'll close my parentheses here. And then all I need to do is multiply that by 80%, and that's going to get me my total loan proceeds of a little over $4 million. Now with that said, we need to calculate what our equity invested is going to be. So we have our purchase price, closing costs, and renovation costs. Again, we need to take our total cost of the project. So I'll take the sum of my total cost of the project and I'll subtract my loan proceeds and hit enter. And there we have our equity invested of a little over a million dollars. So now let's assume we add a bunch of value, we spend $300,000, and now our value is $6.25 million, 
we want to refinance and pull some cash out. What does this actually look like in Excel? Well, this time we'll assume that the lender is going to size this loan based on the value of the property. So a loan to cost ratio is often helpful to lenders when you're planning on doing a major renovation. But if that renovation is complete, oftentimes the loan to value ratio is going to be sufficient for the lender to get comfortable with the deal. So to calculate this, what I'm gonna do is take that 75% and multiply that by the renovated value of 6.25 million dollars. Then what we need to do is assume we pay off this existing loan. Now in a real life scenario, it's likely that we've actually paid down some of our loan proceeds, but let's just say for the purposes of this example that we don't. So I'm going to set this equal to a negative value because this is going to be really a cash outflow. I'm going to set this to negative loan proceeds of $4.2 million and then I can calculate my cash pulled out. So we've paid off our $4.2 million loan, but we have 4.687 in loan proceeds. So the cash that I can pull out and put in my pocket or go out and buy another deal is going to be the sum of these two values. So take the sum of the loan proceeds and the loan payoff. So I can pull out $443,000. So this is really an example of how the math actually works for a cash out refinance and how you can use Excel in order to calculate what this might be based on your purchase price, closing costs, renovation costs, and also your assumed renovated value. All right, so now you know how to build out a refinance in Microsoft Excel for your next real estate deal. Now, if you're looking to break into commercial real estate investing, either as a real estate investment professional or you're looking to do your first deal, the first thing that you really need to know is real estate financial modeling. So how do you actually analyze a deal? So to help with that, what I've done is put together a three-part real estate financial modeling crash course, and you can grab that for free in the description below. So if you're looking to either land a job in commercial real estate investing, or you're looking to do your first deal, that's gonna be a great place for you to start. Now, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone who might find this information helpful and I hope to see you in the next video.